Hello everybody, uh, this is Export Bob, and this video <laughs> is about uh, so a video that hasn't been, so no one has talked about this in a while, when uh, the verse kept getting stronger, it's like uh, Destiny versus Halo, in terms of uh, power, when I've, you know, you know, like in the first year, like Destiny, you know, people were always taught about like, wow, the Spartans like shit on the Guardians, the Guardians ain't shit, or some shit like that. You know, I just shat on the Guardians. And, you know, shat on Destiny in general, just in terms of power. But, like... I'm, I'm about to explain why, like, Destiny just straight fucking mops Halo. Like, I'm just, I'm just gonna spoil it real quick. Halo gets fucking shit on by Destiny. Not, it's not even a competition. With with how just undeniably bullshit the Destiny verse is compared to Halo. So, like... Let's let me quickly just go over like the like the let's go over Halo real quick. Like Halo, they got like weaponry and shit that can like glass a whole planet over time. They can like you know destroy some moons and shit. You know, pretty 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 crazy. You know, they, they got like super soldiers that can like carry tanks and stuff. They can like do crazy shit. You know, like destroy buildings and stuff with their crazy cool weapon. They got like 100 kilometer long ships. It's fucking insane, bro. It's like they're fucking crazy. You know, I got like the the, the fucking you got Master Chief. He's like the, the best Spartan. You got like Ur Didac. He's like oh, he's a powerful like forerunner. There's like the Grave Mine. You know, the Flood are crazy. The Flood can do all sorts of crazy shit. Like and like the Halo Ray that wipes out all life. Like holy shit, that's insane. Now, okay, that, 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 you know, that's what they got. They got a lot of like, crazy stuff, some some crazy hacks and stuff. You know, it's, it's you know, it's like they're pretty tough. They're pretty tough, you know. Now, like, it's <laughs> okay. And now, now Destiny, you got like the low end of the bar. You got Crota. Crota's Oversoul can wipe out all life in the universe. No, no, sorry, not all life. Anything that possesses a soul. So that's something. You know, it's in the name of the Oversoul. You know, that's what, you know, Crota can, like, manipulate reality and stuff. He can, like, like hold a little... Like, the Hive have sword logic, okay? This nigh-omnipotent force that's just, like, only reachable by them. Like, like, even the Guardians can only temporarily reach into sword logic. You know, in Crota's end when they picked up the sword. Like, sword logic is, like, this nigh-omnipotent... Fuck my English. Omnipotent force that they can just like draw from that just grants them this this power to literally rewrite their death. Like the ability of just like eternal immortality. As long as they keep killing, they that sword logic will keep empowering them. They just get stronger and stronger and stronger. And they just have complete utter like reality manipulating bullshit, okay? Now like I've <laughs> Wait, hold, okay, you got like the Guardians, okay, so you see now like the Spartans are crazy, they got these cool weapons and stuff So like the Guardians, like the Warlock, okay, they can throw, the, the Warlocks can throw handheld supernovas, okay I, 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 I shit you not, the Warlocks can like charge a grenade in their hands, a grenade by the way, and throw it out And it's a handheld supernova Okay <laughs> So they can throw out like handheld supernovas. It's pretty. It's pretty epic, isn't it? And like the hunters and titans scale to that, so they practically can hit with the force of a supernova. You know, kind of crazy, like you know, like 27 octillion tons of TNT. You know, like a pretty crazy yield like that. You know, like I, like Nova bomb is like likely even stronger, probably even large star level from a single Nova bomb, and that's from one guardian. And if you if you really want to like, <laughs> so like. First, so like Guardian should stomp Spartan. There's not even a competition there. I'm pretty sure if Master Chief were to like, like, like Master Chief fighting a Guardian, it would be like the craziest, like the most insane fight of his life. For a Guardian, it'd be like a normal Tuesday for them. Like it wouldn't even be a competition. Like they actually, like, Ma like I can already picture it. S Master Chief punches Saint 14, and his arm just shatters into a thousand pieces because he's not hurting Saint. So that would probably happen. His armor would probably just crumble to dust upon touching Saint. But I, I would even be amazed if their bullets could even hurt the Guardians. <laughs> the same Guardians who can straight up bulk the handheld Supernova. <laughs> so, so, hold up, I even, I, uh, like, 
you, you get the flood. The flood are pretty crazy. How did he beat the how, how did he beat the flood? Well, easy. They just obliterate them. We've already know that the Siva. You know, I'll, I'll compare them to the Siva real quick. The Siva couldn't control like the the Dead Iron Lords until all their light was gone. Okay, it's it's been pro it's been proven multiple times in the game that light literally grants immunity to these certain levels of bullshit like manipulation and and uh, certain hacks. Like Oryx in the in, in the King's Fall raid tears you between dimensions. Literally, he can't. He can only. He can't take the will of a guardian because the light is protecting them. But he's able to take other things that, from ranging from literal cows to literal captains, well, to the fucking ginormous uncontrollable ogres, to even wish dragons like the Ahamkara. So. It's, so it's pretty obvious that the light provides invincibility towards take towards uh, Oryx's ability, and oh boy, it's like so like the flood. Okay, so they can they can do this wacky stuff, but like the grave mine. Okay, so the grave mine controls all the flood. So Oryx could pull up and just take the grave mine, and the flood are automatically on the on automatically on destiny side. Like that's that's an automatic that's an automatic win there. Wait, I just hold. Wait, hold up. Or they, they literally send Oryx on the field, and Oryx can just take all their strongest fighters. You know, from fucking prophets, the autodidact, the fucking Spartans, all the flood. And he can just do. He can just walk up and take them. And like he has Corey on the on the back seat too, who can do the exact same thing. Hold up, <laughs> Corey. I've. Oh my god, I can't wait to get into Corey and Pen of Tees. I'll save that for a, a little bit later in the video, because that's when I'll get into the unfair shit. Like, uh, yeah, right now I'm not even talking about the unfair shit. If you think Oryx taking, like, Oryx literally taking the grave mine would just be an auto win, bro. I Like, first of all, Crota's Oversoul win, win, wins the whole fight. Atheon, he, oh, Atheon can, like, literally open the time stream, okay? He can create these oracles that bring about the prophecy of doom, which will just erase them from time. You, 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 you catch that catch that so it doesn't matter if they're machine flesh or some type of god they're being erased from time if they're not above time they're being erased from time that's that they're the instant dead it bypasses resistance and well, oh my god they won't even be able to hurt atheon they can't even hurt atheon because because of that exact reason they're not gonna have the aegis on their side they're not gonna hurt atheon well, that requires specifically stopping the prophecy of doom in order to hurt him with the aegis by the way Crota, invincible. Oryx, practically invincible. Pretty much any, any, a lot of things in Destiny are just invincible unless specific, like, things are, like, specific conditions are met. Like, <laughs> oh boy. You know, I, I, I like, 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 Destiny just mops Halo. Like, it's not even a, con it's, it really isn't a competition. I mean, like, hold, let me get, let me get in the pen up tease in Korea real quick. So Coria, Coria, she's called the Dreaming Mind, okay? She was able to like replicate Oryx's Taken ability, okay? This unique, like, dim like fucking godlike power that only he has. Coria is able to replicate that by j by simulating a dream of it within her, okay? That and like, so she's able to take. So. Quiria, if she wanted to, could like literally have like create a simulation within her dreams of like the Halo Array, okay? And like just replicate it and just <laughs> the Halo Array. She can copy, she can dream and simulate Crota's Oversoul. She can dream and simulate the Oracles. She can dream and simulate the entire Halo Arsenal. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even she didn't, uh, holy fuck so so that is so that's that like, that's what Quiria can do okay so she's already cheating and she also has sword logic on top of that so, and like Quiria at this point in the story is also just even stronger than Oryx who Oryx was deemed a fucking knight out of reversal threat he has the um and that's with his sword logic within his throne world and Quiria can pull that shit off outside of a throne world that shit outside of a throne world and let me all oh, let me speak about pen up tees bro pen up tees like oh holy shit pen up tees solos the entire halo verse like in his sleep 
Penalties. Let me let me repeat this. Not even repeat this. I'm gonna explain this. Penalties with the infinite forest, okay? The infinite forest is an infinite mult is like a massive multiverse, an infinite multiverse within a s that is able to simulate infinite timelines, infinite universes simultaneously, infinitely. So, Penalties, the infinite mind who can hold infinite knowledge, infinite everything, could literally in the infinite forest simulate that entire battle infinite times over of all their arsenals the halo ray everything over and over and over like he can do that he can replicate their stuff they can he could even have a choreo with him just like like taking it all in and simulating this all in her mind so she can just use these exact powers so that's something penoptes was able to destroy all light in the entire destiny verse the darkness the hive worm gods all the high gods, the nine, everything in the entire universe, in by himself with just the infinite forest, and the and you really want to you really want to get in more wacky stuff. He destroyed the pyramid. That means he destroyed all the pyramids, which are the darkness. So destroying the pyramids are the same ships. They're the same entities that can literally bring about this fucking field that was able to rip out planets from the int from the entire solar system out of existence into their own infinite void <laughs> penalties fucked them up penalties fucked them up fucked them up the traveler all all light in the solar system, which is every single star destroyed destroyed the hive gods which are even prop that, that are like on par with oryx query etc all able to do all of that okay he was able to do all of that by by himself which is the infinite force so there is actually not one timeline not one universe not one dimension not one argument that can genuinely be made possibly where halo could possibly beat destiny there is actually no way they literally can infinitely simulate it and penalties will always guarantee the win and that's assume and, and, and I'm not like I'm even and I'm like just lowballing everyone else I, I, I'm like just ignoring everyone else like Crota already auto wins it Oryx auto wins it everyone auto, a lot of the these busted hive gods vex gods the taken like they just solo halo you can honestly plop Crota in the into halo and he solos the whole verse by himself like it wouldn't even be a competition so Holy fuck. And I guess just to, just to throw this in here, the SIVA, like, you know, if they really want to flex, they can have the Flood, like, try to, like, eat the SIVA, okay? And, like, Axis can activate SIVA Density Critical and just detonate every single Flood in the entire verse in, on the dot right there with SIVA Density Critical. Like, I've <laughs> that, look, Halo is carried by Flood. Halo, that Flood is literally carrying their verse. If the Flood goes down, they're, they're, they're fucked. And we already know they're fucked because Oryx, Kuria just takes the Grave Mine. Flood is on their side. That's a work. That's a wrap. Fight's over. Like it's not even a comp. Like it's <laughs> it's not even a competition. It's a fucking mop. Holy shit. So yeah, that that's you know this is a really like goofy video. I did, didn't really want to put much thought into it because it's kind of just out there how much Halo gets fucked by Destiny like really hard up the ass. Like. Saint 14 can like body every Spartan by himself with his eyes closed. Actually, he doesn't. He probably doesn't. He could probably beat them without using his arms. He could probably headbutt every single Spartan by himself and kill all of them in one hit. Yeah, like, it, like it's not even. It's not even a joke, bro. Like it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be a. It is. It's not a fair fight. It is genuinely not a fair fight. But uh, yeah. Uh. Uh. I'll, I'll, I'll do do another, I'll do another one of these. Uh, who knows? I might go I might go into more depth. Uh, who knows? I might do a video of like I don't know Saint 14 versus 100 mat like 1,000 Master Chiefs and see how that goes. I don't know. Hey, Saint probably still mopping, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah so just, just to really sell the point of the gardens real quick, Ikora was able to keep the infinite forest open by herself with her light and didn't even break a sweat at the end of the cutscene. 
So that means she was able to keep an infinite multiversal semi, like, uh, infinite timelines, infinite universes, infinite dimensions, infinite simulations open all by herself with the con with the conflicting force of penalties trying to keep us out. So, so that's another thing. So, so like, Ikora, like, already infinite. There you go. Boom. Ikora is infinite. Not even <laughs> states infinite. He fought infinite amounts of Vex in the infinite forest on countless infinite timelines. See, Saint so see, Saint Infinite. The end. <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like and comment down. Subscribe. If there's something I got wrong, you can tell me. I don't really give a fuck. Halo, Halo still gets mopped by Destiny. See ya, guys.